Dear students, now we are going to discuss Class C amplifier in detail. In Class C amplifier, the transistor is on for less than one half cycle of the AC input signal. That means it has to produce the output signal for less than one half cycle of the AC input signal. This is the diagrammatic representation. Here we can get the output current for less than half cycle of the input signal. Okay. So it has small conduction angle. In case of small AC signal, this value is from this 90 degree. Okay. In case of large AC signal, here it's variation from 120 degree to less than 180 degree. Here the transistor conducts only when the input signal becomes greater than cutting voltage. Okay, this is the condition for this class C amplifier. So next we can discuss the circuit diagram and its operation. So in this class C amplifier, we are going to use tank circuit. This tank circuit is nothing but tuned circuit. So we can connect the collector output to this tank circuit to get the desired output okay so here this class c amplifier is also called as tuned amplifier since tank circuit is used okay so here we are going to ensure that this base emitter junction is always reverse biased for that we can give this minus vbb supply to this transistor okay this is the important condition here that base emitter junction is a reverse bias then we can get the collector output and then that has to be filtered using this LC circuit here this LC circuit can also be acted as a filter okay tank circuit is used as a load in this class C amplifier for class C operation the transistor has a reverse biased base emitter voltage at the Q point so here we can get the Q point in the reverse biased condition that is also an important condition okay so next the minus vbb supply voltage is connected to the base circuit which always reverse biases the base emitter junction okay as i told you the transistor will conduct only when the input signal exits the cutting voltage so here we are going to draw this load line load line is drawn between the output characteristics IC and VCE. So here we have to select the transistor bias and the AC input signal in such a way that the Q point is present just below this X axis that is in the reverse biased condition. So this is an important condition for this class C amplifier. Q point means operating point or QSN point. Okay. So here we have to select this point just below this X axis and it is in the reverse bias condition. Okay, this is a very important point here. So next we are going to discuss the relation between input and output at the collector side. So here whenever the input signal is positive and above the cutting voltage of the transistor, then only the transistor starts conducting and it operates in the saturation region. At that time, the output voltage is equal to the saturated voltage between collector and emitter. Okay. So, that's what given over here. At the same time, whenever the input signal is less than the cutting voltage, then the transistor remains off and the collector voltage is simply the output signal. So, these two conditions are given in this diagram. So, here it is an input signal. So, whenever the input signal is positive as well as above the cutting voltage of the transistor, then the output at this collector side is equal to the saturated voltage. It is constant. So, whenever the input signal is below the cutting voltage, then the transistor is in off condition. The output is simply the input signal. The same is repeated again and again. So here we can get only the distorted output. So class C amplifier produces higher distorted output. For that we are going to give this distorted output to the tank circuit to remove the high frequency harmonics. Okay.
then the distorted output is fed to the tank circuit that is also known as low pass filter. So this tank circuit is mainly used to suppress the high frequency harmonics present at the collected side and produces the proper output. Okay. So next we are going to derive the efficiency of this class C amplifier. For that we can consider this output side. So without any AC input signal, if you are going to give only this VCC supply voltage, then we can get the DC supply power as PDC is equal to VCC into IDC. So this is the DC supply power due to this VCC without any AC input signal. Okay. So next the power dissipated by the transistor due to this IDC is given as VCE saturated with this IDC. Okay. This is what power dissipated by the transistor. Then we can get the AC power across the load as the difference between this DC supply power and dissipated power. Then we can substitute the value of this PDC that is supply power as VCC IDC minus dissipated power is equal to VCE into IDC. We can take this IDC as a common one that is DC current. Okay. So as we all know that efficiency is nothing but the ratio of AC power to the DC power correct that is AC output power to the DC supply power we can simply substitute this AC output power and DC supply power here VCC minus VCE into IDC divided by VCC into IDC then IDC IDC cancel okay then we can get the efficiency eta is equal to VCC minus VCE divided by VCC then we can divide these two values by this VCC. Then we can get the efficiency eta is equal to 1 minus VCE divided by VCC. So this is the formula for this class C amplifier efficiency. As we all know that the saturated collector emitter voltage is always for less than this supply voltage. Then the efficiency of this class C amplifier is very high. For example, the saturated voltage is just point or 1, we can say it is 1 volt. Then the supply voltage VCC is equal to 10 volt, correct? This value is for less than this one. If you are going to consider like this, we can substitute these values in this formula. What, what is the answer here? Eta is equal to 1 minus 1 by 10. Then we can get the value as, what is the value? 0 0.9. So we used to represent... The efficiency in terms of percentage, then we are going to multiply this value with 100, we can get 90 percentage. Okay. If this VC is one tenth of this VCC, then we can get 90 percentage as the efficiency. Do you all understand this one? So we are getting always more than 90 percentage efficiency in this class C amplifier. Okay. So next advantages of class C amplifier, it has very high efficiency that is above 90 percentage efficiency, physical size is suitable for given power, it has small conduction angle, if the conduction angle is smaller then we can get the maximum efficiency, okay. It is widely used in RF applications, okay. It cannot be used for audio frequency range, okay. So major applications of this class C amplifiers are given here. It is widely used in RF circuits like RF oscillator, RF amplifier, high frequency repeaters, tuned amplifiers, FM transmitters, etc. So it is widely used in radio frequency range. Okay. The major disadvantages are it provides very poor linearity. So here class C amplifier is a non-linear circuit. So it has poor linearity. It is not suitable for audio applications. It is only for radio frequency applications. Okay.